Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Battle Brothers. We're going to be escorting a caravan from Whitehall to Vardigar today. Because our last caravan escort went super amazingly well. Trust me. I don't know what you're talking Yeah, we kind of we kind of had to flee the field of battle after we took on 20 like brigands. And then we had to fight more goblin skirmishers. I noped out of that one right quick. We're going to be using a lot of our medical supplies patching our people up. Oh god. Cries whisked through the party like the howls of the wind. There is not an enemy in sight. You have no idea who's causing this. You walk around, uh, you walk the ranks to find Gerhard practically sobbing on the ground. He's clutching his chest with one hand while the other points to the sky. The finger shaking in pointed fear. Brad explains that the man saw a great blaze of fire across the stars. Apparently this pathetic fool takes it for an omen. And, uh, of course, not a good one. Whatever it is, it isn't going to get you where you need to be, so you order the men to march. Oh no, we lost one stability. There we go, the road to Vardigard is usually pretty safe. It also helps that we're traveling along a supply caravan here. We've got a few billmen and a few footmen. And we've got people burning, uh, patrolling, uh, ooh, a battle site. Well, we are where we need to be, so that's good. Money! And Vardigard is now well supplied. We are paying 250 crowns. Our party is getting large. Which is good, don't get me wrong. Uh, how, how much food do we have? Two days, really? We'll get some more grain then. Kennel! We can get war dogs, it's super duper cheap! Will they use food? I think they should. No! Alright, let's get doggies! Yeah! The hunt is on, boys! They're gonna die at some points, and it's gonna be terribly sad. One goes to Super Sarge. One goes to Bertram. And we'll keep Varg in reserve. So we've got Hound and wi Wind. Awesome. All the dogs. Chase down those pathetic archers. And terribly armed thugs. It's gonna be great. Still have a lot of injuries. It might be worth having someone... Uh, might be worth setting up camp, or going to a temple to treat them. Let's see, you're not selling anything too great. I mean, we'll buy some more grain. There we go, we've got four days of food now. Don't have any contracts because for some reason people still don't want to give us noble contracts. We've got 1300 renown. Good god. Do we see any tracks here near this battle site? We do not. Okay. Safe to th safe to assume that they're dead then. Or not around anymore. Either way, not our problem. We'll go say hi to Unheim. The burning suns are here. Competition. Grr. Get all the cheap tools because they're amazing. We'll get us some roots of berries, why not? Medical supplies, they're gonna be cheap here, so yeah, sure. Uh, armor, what do you sell, man? A nice heater shield. We can do business with you. Good male shirts as well. Flat top with a male. Ooh. Sadly, they do reduce vision a lot. Yeah, we're just gonna leave it at a heater shield purchase here. Roderick, I'm going to give you a heater, mostly because you are already good at range defense, so you don't need a kite shield to compensate for that. That's good logic, right? I think it is. By that logic, Gerhard should have one as well. We're working on it. We're working on it. Matter of fact, I'll give you a regular shield for now. And I'll give Magnus the kite shield. He's been getting sniped by a lot of ranged projectiles. I could give you a Warhound as well. But no. You're gonna be a mainline fighter, you need bandages. 
Now what's this mission you speak of? Desecrated crypt just north of here. Great. They were looking by the name of Elderstone. Let's talk money. What do you what do you offer us for the Elderstone? 930? Sure. Should be enough for a few days. Oh dear, we have to travel quite far for that. Let's hope there's no random undead here. Let's see, do we have anyone... Oh, yes. We can switch Gunnar back in. Good. I like having reserves. It's great. Here's the thing. If we set up camp here, no doubt they will come and ambush us. I kind of want to set up camp, though. Wait, we have someone else. Yes, Siegfried. I'll probably put you in instead of Gerhard because Gerhard's a bit sad about comets and such. He doesn't have comet sense. Camp here will move. There we go. Just stay on the stay on the move. And at the same time, get a bit of rest in for a man. Balon is going to be injured for a long time. Probably. Let's go see what this crypt has to offer. Oh yeah. The Empire rises again. Huzzah, we're fighting Legion. We're actually fighting Legionaries. Oh god, those are tougher. I should have equipped my men with swords. Okay, here we go. So. I did order, uh, I did alter the line of battle and such, and gave some people swords, just to be able to fight this a little bit better. So just so that you're aware. Oh god, I only gave you a sword. Well, that does mean he's going to be able to hit a lot, do a lot more damage if we hit, but Firefang, you might be in trouble. I'm sorry. I'm starting to rush things now, when I shouldn't. Might cost someone his life. It also might not, who knows. We'll see. I did move some people around. We still have uh, some injuries in our back line. Ballon is still not feeding too great. Yeah, he's not going to be able to move very far. Nor is he able to shoot accurately, apparently, but that's just Ballon in a nutshell. Terrible at his job. Hello. He's gonna stick back a bit more, which is fine with me. There are legionaries in the front lines, for once. He's not gonna be able to hit anyone yet, but he is gonna make himself a prime target, basically. We need to strip his armor. Let's set up a spear wall where we can. We're going to tell the people with swords to wait until the initial contact. You're just going to keep pelting him, trying to strip down his armor. Oh god, I accidentally ended Casimir's turn. Yay! <sighs> Never let it be said that I'm good at this game. Hello! If I had Casimir's turn still, he would have easily been dead already. No, he might survive Roderick's attacks, I don't know. We'll see. Firefan's gonna be able to start putting the herd down as well. The spear wall is not doing a well a good job today. I gotta say. We can keep pelting him though, that seems to work for now. Oh dear. Um Raven is not feeling too great there. And that legionary is gonna take a swing at us. Not good. Fire fan, 46. Come on. That's an 84. That's an insta kill. There we go. Very nice. At least one of them's down. Brad's not feeling too great there, surprisingly. James is doing his part to hold the line. It's not going that well, though. That guy's pretty much out of armor now, so. We're just going to sally forth and try to murder him quickly. We're also going to try and murder him, but we don't hit anything, apparently.
come on, just hit something. God, his shield is getting wrecked, admittedly, but that's not good enough. Brad, put up your shield wall. Yeah, we're just not able to hit any of these. Ike, get in there and help against that legionary. The sooner they die, the better. As for you, legionary. James, shield wall and poke him. We're holding, but we're not doing well. Shield wall. Roderick. One good hit, nice. Raven just not doing well there. Neither is Brad. Brad's routing almost. I think the time for archery is past. Hoist the banner! And not enough AP to do anything. Gunnar takes an injury there. Super Sarge. Get out the axe! <laughs> He's gonna be lobbing things. We're also gonna release a dog. Dog might do helpful things. He is dead. That's good. For us. We're gonna kill him if we can. Yes, we can. Good. One legionary down. That is a great relief. Rad is not great. He's not feeling great, rather. He is pretty great. That legionary is fully unharmed, sadly. There we go. Start taking the battle to them. James is not feeling great. Bertram, take out a pike, unleash a hound. Just like, let him go up there and go help out in the north. <gasps> you attack the hound. Prepare the die. Nope, doesn't die. There we go, kill him. Uh, you put up a shield wall and nothing else. He takes a swing and misses, that's good. We'll just try and poke you. Brad is holding on, but he's breaking. God, they have so many armor points, it's terrible. Dogs are not really able to help out yet. Oh, no, never mind, Hound got a kill. Fair enough. Firefan is able to butcher him. We get a nice stab in on him. Very helpful there. Obviously we need to go for the legionary here. Siegfried is able to get a nice stab in on him. Get some nice cuts in there. Hang in there James. Help is on the way. Wind is confident. Uh, yeah, they've got it over there. We just need to help out against the Legionary now. Admittedly, I might have just made Bertram a nice target for him. It wouldn't be nice. Wind is still up, but he is damp. He is very hurt now. Balon's not going to be able to move and do something, so we're just going to go there. We are taking injuries. Pretty large ones at that. He is nearly dead. James just single stab. Balon is severely injured now. We can kill that one if we're lucky. Our hounds do a little bit, but not much, sadly. I can't get Firefan to swing if I go there. I'll go there then, use his full move. I guess. We're just gonna go all out on damaging that fella. We don't have a choice really. There we go, he's nearly dead. That's a nice stab with Bertram over there. Casimir is able to finish him off. Just three left.
Make that two. Brad, hang on. Help is on the way. Balance not really going to be able to help. We might lose wind here. Nope, wind is still up. Brad, however, is fleeing. Just stab that one. Rabon, get up there. Brad, please don't die. Oh, no, you disengaged successfully. That's good, I guess. I'd rather have that over you dying, to be honest. Looks like we may have... May, may have the battle here. That would be great. Firefine is able to murder him. Super Sarge is not able to help out over there. We'll have Bertram wait. This is a tough fight. But it does, it does tell me that swords are actually useful to have. Which, you know, probably an easy thing to know, but... I was a bit too reliant on shield, on sword, no, think, spears, that's what I wanted to say, there we go. Oh god, he's got full armor and everything. His shield wall isn't great, but we should be able to move fire fan in maybe. Get Ike around here if we can. And some more confident people. Can't split his shield, sadly. We can't just keep wailing on him. We have some good people that are now moving in. We could just keep bashing him with the banner and everything. Like, it's gonna get to him eventually. Admittedly, we are very unlucky here. Very unlucky. Dear lord. Brad has steeled himself. Good. We've got two dogs in the action now. Fair enough. His shield is crumbling. It's about bloody time, to be honest. We've got him fully surrounded now. Come on. There's got to be some great hit chances for this. Get Firefan into the action here. Oh, there we go. He's nearly dead. Come on. There we go. Dear Lord. That took a long time to try and get. But it did eventually work. They have cool legionary helmets. Of course they do. Ancient tower shield, ooh. Ancient coffin shield. Not bad. Broken ancient sword, that's pretty much it. Oh, that is a sword. I thought it was a dagger. Oh, well. 330 crowns. That was a rough fight. I mean, who wants scrolls, right, when you can have elder stones? Those are a lot cooler. There we go. Firefan, congratulations. Keep training that melee attack and defense. Uh, we'll go and up your maximum fatigue. No, your fatigue is fine. Resolve would be great. You're up to 75 now with bonuses. Headhunter. 15% chance to hit the head for critical damage each time you hit the body. Ooh. That's not bad. That means eventually we're going to do massive crippling damage to someone. Or we could, like, specialize you in heavy armor. Armor damage taken is reduced to a percentage equal to 5% of the total armor value of both body and head armor. So that would be 5% of 25. That's like 12. That basically means your armor becomes a lot tankier. I kinda like that idea. I could also specialize you in swords. Give you more chance to hit. You know, that's my... That's not a bad idea. There we go. You are now a sword master for us. 
you get a better helmet. A badass helmet! Actually, no, we'll just keep this one. It's just better. Less fatigue and everything. We've held! Although it was a tough fight, I'll say that. Giving our archers pikes, surprisingly not a bad idea. Surprisingly not a bad idea. Oh wait, you had the goblin one, yeah? Yeah, there you go. And our hounds both lived. They don't get experience from what I can tell, but they're useful to have anyway. Good god, that was a tough fight. I'm not gonna lie, skeletons are always tough. Even though we still draw breath, we did not get out of that one lucky at all. Balon, you're pretty much re retired for a while. Get Magnus in there. There we go. Uh, Raban still has a broken nose, but he should be able to recover from that fairly soon. There we go. Let's get paid! Should have enough tools to fix everything. Should have enough food for a while. Undheim should be happy with this, dear lord. 930 crowns. And a one-star mission. You know, that might not be a bad idea. Buy more medicine and tools, because it's so darn cheap here. I love it. A little bit more food as well. Armorer, what do you sell? A new heater shield. I don't mind if I do. Ooh, that is 18 fatigue less, but we will be able to give fire fans so much more armor. That'll be pretty neat. Nah, we're, we're fine for now. We'll buy, we'll buy a kite shield. How about that? Sell some of those wooden ones. And the ancient ones. We don't need those. I'll consider the other, like, helmets though. We'll sell their spears. sell their spears. They're not that good. That broken sword is not really good either. We've got way better ones. Sell the woodcutter's axe, even though it could have been useful in that fight, maybe. Yeah, there we go. That'll be fine. Our shields don't tend to break all that often. In fact, Firefan, if you're gonna be a sword master, have a kite shield. Because you already have great melee defense. Your range defense is bad. No offense, but it is. We'll give a heater shield to Gerhard. There we go. Plus seven. Instead of... You know, a lot less. It's really good. Happy with that. We need to train our people up in fatigue a bit more. They're getting too exhausted too quickly. Anyway, what is this about? A package to smelt time. How many crowns? 70 to 280. You know what? Fine. We'll go to some dangerous areas, why not? We'll get to see some of the land at least. Yeah, that is not worth the money, but hey. Do we care? Not really. The nobles still don't care either. Really annoying. You do have some more hounds here. They were good, but not so great to the point that I'm like, yeah, we need more of them right away. I'll take an armored one at some point again, sure, but... Eh. You guys are overcharging for things. Oh my god. We can get some injuries treated. Stabbed guts. Ugh. Nah, we're, we're good. Just keep moving. Down to Summer's home we go. If we're lucky, we may be able to reach Schmeld's time by the morning. Or like, by late afternoon tomorrow. Also depends on what we encounter along the way. Like, this is the dangerous bit. Someone did pass through here, apparently. There are footsteps heading in many ways. A little bit concerning. Yep, those are definitely not human. They may have been squished, though. 
There's definitely someone been pursuing them. Oh my god. Looks like they ran eventually. Oh, raiders. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Well, here we are. We've got a decent position to hold, although... Knowing goblins, they're not going to hold, they're gonna charge. James, go sneaky! Why not, right? It worked. He needs to die quickly. He's only got a net, so does he, oh wow. Not a lot of them have shields, that's good. Oh, you've got a pokey stick. There we go, you need to die. Erlen, you can stay there for now. Siegfried, get involved. Stab him with a 53, oh he's bleeding already. Yeah, get in there. Commit nice and early. Probably should have moved you there. Would have let Gerhard move, oh well. We'll take that lesson to heart then. Casimir, you charge him. He's one of the few with a shield. That guy's got an intelligent look on his face, like Arr. He's dead. Good. The less of him alive, the better, honestly. James! Oh, you're gonna be able to ambush him. Great. Super Sarge, can you get an arrow in? Mm, not really. Surprise, Gobbo! It's the long arm of the law! He disengages, that's fine. Oh, uh, Roderick is netted, that's fine. So is Magnus. Bit annoying. Not that big a deal. Hang in there, Casimir! Jesus Christ! We're really being roped in here, aren't we? Uh, let's not release the dogs yet. Try and hit him if we can. Firefan just immediately butchers him, as Firefan does. You need to try and break free. Does work, takes two attacks. Try and stab him, to no avail. Now, however, he dies. Same for his friend here. Shield wall, just stay up. Rad is free. Sadly, we can't help free anyone. You gotta do it on your own. Hello, Rangers! Goodbye to your friend there. He's gonna disengage and move away. Fair enough. He is not happy about this. I don't blame him. He got ambushed. The ambusher got ambushed. And they attack at night, so their ambush is virtually useless as well. We even managed to kill someone with an arrow there. You disengaged from Siegfried, that's... Ooh, his head is gone. Well done, fire fan. Let's get this gobble from behind. Siegfried is bleeding, we should be able to stealth that, but... I'd rather try and kill, honestly. It's a lot more fun. There we go. Start murdering. You are now dead. Hello, ambushers. Yeah, you're gonna still be able to shield wall, that's fine. Ike is gonna draw a lot of their fire now. That's fine, you can try. You can try, you're all welcome to try. Unleash hounds. Hello. We're gonna flank you too. 
More hounds! You just immediately start running after them. Don't blame them. Hello! Let's keep stabbing him. He's the one that doesn't flee yet. He's gonna stab the dog, isn't he? He's gonna try! That bastard! You just cut him down. He's gonna flee now. You know what? We'll move over here. You can move over there nicely. James with his successful ambush is gonna go help out there. You're gonna keep chasing him. The dog's probably gonna do a better job, but we need to keep our men moving, you know. That guy's already kind of dead with the forces he's facing. There we go. That encourages our dog, which is great. These guys are stuck in a melee. It's always nice to see. Go dogs! Yes, we got him! Are they still the ambushers or are we now the ambushers? I think we now count as the winners here. And the ambushers in question. Hello. Say goodbye to your face. It's ugly as sin. Oh my god. Oh, he's already dead, eh? To be fair, that that's what I would should have expected. We're good at murdering them. What can I say? Good job, dog. You caught us a nice ambusher to murderate. He's gonna try and swing at Gerhard. That says a lot about Gerhard. Oh wow! Wind is bloodthirsty! He just gets a double kill there, like, hey, I'm gonna eat you now. Hope that's cool with you. It is, totally. I wonder if that counts as a kill for our archers. I don't know. Should be fun. Anyway, the, this guy's dead, he's waiting to die. Hello! More hit chances to kill you. You got close, buddy. Very close. Oh. Run him down, of course. Nom. Beautiful. Uh, don't think it counts as a kill for our archers, which is a bit of a shame, but oh well. Level up on Brad, Casimir, Bertram. Got some goblin notched blades. It's a sword and dagger. 26 arrows. We get some boondock bows. Reinforced skirmisher shields. Cruel falchions. A jagged pike. 50 to 70. Chance to hit head plus 5. That's 50 to 70. There's a bit less damage than the pike. Less effective against armor as well. It doesn't give nearly as much fatigue though. And we get a throwing net. Fair enough. That was remarkably easy. Take that, gobos. Oh yeah, and level up time. Best time of the day. Oh dear, Casimir. You've got all the injuries. Bertram. Skirmisher. Initiative and just attack and defense, basically. Say, if we give you the Cruel Falchion, that gives you a good blade as backup. Not quite as good as the Arming Sword, but less fatigue buildup, so you're going to be better with your light, ar your light armor. You know? That's a good weapon to have. Still have that Ancient Tower Shield as well. Uh, as for perks... Bow Mastery. Few range, maximum firing range, less fatigue. Too good. Erland! Congratulations, you've lived long enough to not die horribly immediately. Build your resolve a little. We'll give you student. Casimir, congratulations, you have weathered a an, an, uh, terrible storm. There we go, I can word. Think we'll go with your fatigue? 
Eh. Yeah, your fatigue is very low. It's only at 60. We'll give you a bit of defense as well, so you can try and stay alive. I'll specialize you in swords as well. Because I like the idea of having my sergeant with a sword just bashing people. As for Brad... Uh, we'll give you... Extra defense. Extra resolve. It's now 54. Your exhaustion is pretty good. We'll give you some health, maybe? Sure, why not? And then as perk... Underdog, maybe? Or something like heavy armor specialization to get you more stuff? That might work. Uh, let's see... I could also go for fast adaptation. Like, you're gonna be out... You're gonna be good at hitting, but, you know, more is never bad. Could also go with things like nine lives. To keep you alive, because you're pretty good, and you're a companion. Like, you're already more likely to survive if struck down and not killed by a fatality. So that means if he doesn't get his head chopped off and just goes down to no hit points, he's more likely to survive, which is great. Doesn't mean we want to push it, though. You know what? Colossus. I, why have I not given you Colossus yet? My god. That's an obvious pick with your, like, talent for hit points. Very nice. Aha! Brigands! We'll see if we can join this fight. Although, nah, they're moving away. Not worth it. Let's not get distracted. I'm gonna take a quick pee break. Alright, let's go for a quick stop in Fels Fest, and then we'll move on, and as soon as we finish our contract, we're basically going to be ending the episode. We're doing well on tools. Tools here are expensive anyway. Nobles don't seem to care much. Despite us being super awesome, we just beat up goblins. Crying out loud. We'll sell their bows. I'll probably sell the pike as well. I'm gonna keep the notched blades. I wanna try something with those. 10, 10, and 8. 15, 15, and 10. Okay. Oh, we'll sell the tower shield. It's too large, really. Maximum fatigue minus 20. It's more than a heater. Heaters are pretty good, in my opinion. Sell the short bow. We'll sell the throwing net. I don't really care about those. Probably sell out. Nah, we'll hold on to them for now. As spares, if, if something does go wrong. Something gets destroyed or whatever. Right, done with that. Weaponsmith, what do you have? Overcharged stuff. Okay, that's all I need to know. Armorer. Nice heaters. I'll get them as a backup. The shields do officially... Uh, they do sometimes break and get destroyed. So having more is not a bad idea. Overpri oh, some overpriced, overvalued piece of armor was stolen from the guardhouse by some small devil creatures to hold it to the northwest. Oh, really? So we might be able to find a unique item up here. Interesting. I will have to go and look for that then, at the end, at maybe next episode. Try and get over there as quickly as we can. That sounds really good, actually. We'll go and chase that rumor. We've got plenty of money to run around. The roads are rough these days, yeah. Especially in these parts. You don't really sell anything I need. We've got plenty of food. I like the look of our heaters. I'll be honest. I'll give you the uh, the red one though. I don't know. I like the red one better. Call me biased. I also like this one actually. It's a really cool one. Yes, we're going purely based on looks here today. We are petty. What can I say? Casimir is going to need some treatment for some for some of his ailments. He offers a goblet of wine. Drink it all in one swig. That wasn't cheap. 
You're supposed to enjoy it. Shrug. Can I have another one to get it right? A caravan going to Lighterstead. What does it pay? 1190. 1260. You know what? Sure. I'll take that. So we'll be going on a caravan mission to Lighterstead. That'll be very, very risky. But, you know, the dangerous lake of the journey is Felsfest to Summer's home. Lighter said itself should be easy. I'll see you all in the next episode of some more Battle Brothers. Till then, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, let me know by leaving a like, perhaps a comment down below as well. Next episode, we'll probably like start looking in the Banshee Mounds to look for gobos to see if we can find a unique item. That'll be awesome. Until next time, have a good one, folks.